so now we'll see dpdt switch so last tutorial we saw about a spdt which is single pole double throw now we'll see dpdt which is double pole double throw which is same as the previous spdt but in a slightly different manner so same way we have a normally open one a normally closed one on the other side you'll have the same thing a common normally open and normally closed now when you switch on both of this i'll say it as c1 c2 nc1 nc2 no1 no2 both of this c1 and c2 will come in contact with no1 and the c2 will come in contact with no2 while you switch on while you switch off what happens is this c1 will come in contact with nc1 and c2 will come in contact with nc2 so this is how a dpdt switch works and uh, this is prime important switch because of the fact people use this to control a dc motor to go in a to go in both directions you can control it to go in forward as well as reverse directions so next or the other tutorial we'll see how to use this dpdt switch to control a motor in a forward and a reverse direction so for now this is how it works